Hey there everybody, this is CoinPurse, welcome back to the channel. Today we are uh, starting to play Moonlighter. Um, this is literally the first time I've booted up the game, so uh, I have no previous experience with it, but let's jump in and see what happens. a little bit. I am using a controller. It recommended to uh, use that. Why is this not? I'm going to put everything down so you can hear my beautiful voice. Alright, let's get started. Hard is recommended. Let's do normal. So the premise of this is you are a shopkeeper. Uh, among the stars of the night, there's a land as old as imagination. read through everything. Pretty cool art though. It's me. Like we're a shopkeeper and we want to take back the town from the dungeons. school Zelda um, aesthetic going room to room here. Dodge. Roll. So you can see at the top there it's giving us some options of what we need to do. I'm assuming we need to jump over that. Yep. Yeah. Whoops! <laughs> awesome. Uh, love it. What is this telling me to do, though? <laughs> I love how the music stops. Hi, <laughs> guy. Oh, it won't let me go up and down. So how do I... Do I just jump into him? <laughs> that was great. Oh, boy. Oh, I got a broom. Oh, so I wonder why I can. Is there nice simple controls? So it's like a charge mode, okay. K 
gotcha. We oh, hear broken sword. Uh, quick move. Okay. And some fabric. Nice. Controls are very fluid, very nice and easy. Grab that potion. Foundry rests. Okay. Broken sword. Oh boy. Whoa. Jeez. What's happening? Failing miserably. Roll. doing wrong here. Yikes. What's going on here? I got kicked. Oh, so maybe that was supposed to happen? Seemed like a lot of dudes. Save me, old man. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. You can't carry me, old man. Or can you? With your old man strength. This is my beautiful shop. Or his shop. Who knows? Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeon. Notes? There's no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Yeah, dude. Do you see all those rock monsters? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. Okay? And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. Thank you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Oh yeah. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your head, hard head, some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Sweet. Let's do this, Zenin. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things must note item's value as well as its demand. Ah, 101 economics. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Okay, old man. What is this? Hold. Welcome, welcome. Buy it. See that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if he has prices for fair. There's a lot of people with backpacks. Buy it. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Is that why? It's beautiful. This notebook this is cool. Okay. 
Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out the new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. and Use that pendant, boy! Yes, sir, old man. With a cool beard. Go now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Okay? You're kicking me out of my own shop? Get out of here! Head on off to the dungeon, boy! Okay. Renoka may not be as prosperous as it used to be, but many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Golem dungeon. Possibly even from the closed dungeons, if we are lucky. Okay. Hey, Bori. Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always find it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Not yet, man. See you later. Hiding in the field. Yeah! Masa, my son, when I find you... Oh, Will, have you seen Massa around my chance? By chance? Will! I saw you in the column dungeon earlier. Found anything mysterious? Hey, I found you. Will, can we play the next time I stop by your shop? Hey, guy, he's up here. Are you heading into the dungeons? Be sure to take advantage of the hot spring if you find it. Water will soothe your aches, just downright revitalize you. Okay, you've already given up on finding your son who's ten feet away? Got it. Oops, I'm stuck by a tree. Okay. Can I talk to you? Keep praying, Owen. Easier to find, yes. But I'm an idiot, apparently, and I can't find... Oh, is this... Oh, dungeons. Okay. There you go. Whoosh. I feel like there should be wind blowing. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? Also, these are different dungeons. Forest dungeon. These are all boarded up. Those are one that's for me. Tech dungeon. Heroes. Ooh. Oh damn, here we go. Shoop. That's cool. Cool animation there. Let's do this. Let's do this. So how's my this sword? Black. Yeah. Um Oh, we got a little map in the bottom. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. Blocked. I don't know if any of these are going to have anything, but... Oh boy. Oh, I can't open my backpack down here. Oh, so I can switch weapons. Okay. That's good to know. I wonder if this sword ever breaks. If I'll have to uh, repair it. This is a cool, cool game so far. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, wow! Ow. Bird, check everything. Uh, let's go up still. Oh, here we go. Hey. 
Ooh, that. This looks good. You okay, bud? To a person of hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. I took injury from the strange creatures across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the skull. Check him out, though. I'd say I'd fare better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this. Map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. He said old crazy Pete done gone lost his marble. Oh, no. Pete. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the do fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Hmm. I'm gonna guess something like, uh... Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. I'll have to change this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Chase this weird creature. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. What's happening? Okay. I don't know what that means. So we fill up our little. Okay, so we fill up the pendant, and then we use B to charge it up, and it returns us to our shop, maybe? Huh, cool. Oh, I don't want to use it yet. Oh, I have to. I can't... Okay. <laughs> Very cool. And it gives you a kind of an update of what you did. That's cool. That is definitely going to come in handy when we get deeper in the dungeons. Hey, oh man, I found Pete. He's dead. Hey, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly? It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... You found old Pete? Dead? See. This is what happens. See? See. See, see. This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in and attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently it needs some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. Okay, bye. Cool. Well, I got a hundred gold, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Investments. Damn. Here we go. Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials. A forge to be reckoned with, okay? The Wooden Hat. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions. Okay. Shop upgrades. This game is a lot more in depth than I thought. I didn't know there was a um, a town building mechanic. That's actually pretty cool. Boy, Renoka's seen better days. When your grandpa first opened Moonlighter, people from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now... Nothing. Is this me? Yeah. Um, here, why don't you have some roots? Golem core. How do I... Oh, I see. This is the table on the right. Okay. Got it. Got it. A whetstone. A vine. A teeth stone. No. How do 
way. There we go. Let's charge. I mean, that looks pretty fancy, so let's do... 70... F I guess. Sure. Is this foundry rests fabric. Fabric might somebody might want that. for 50. Probably lost money on that. Okay, so I can place stuff while people are in. Uh, Here, take a broken sword. I don't know what is what here, so... I guess I'm not sure of the demand. So we'll see, I guess. Ooh. Not good, huh? Too high? Yeah, get out of here, old man. on fire? Is that like wheat or something in there? Um, what do we got here? A teeth stone. I don't know what this is. So we're gonna go with 50. A whetstone. Oops. Uh, sure. Oh boy, 
They do not like the price of this. But if we open this... Selling and reactions. Oh, I see. So it goes by dungeon. So, th so 30 was good for the fabric. Okay, so this is going to be kind of trial and error, I guess? Is that what? Tech Desert Forest. Cool. Okay. So what else we have in here? We have the stuff. Wish list. A calendar. Oh, I wonder how the calendar comes into play. Maybe, like, uh, be able to sell different stuff during different parts of the year? Kind of Stardew Valley kind of thing? I don't know. Um, uh, okay. Okay, I'm changing the price, jeez. stuff. Buy my stuff. How do I tell how long this, this shop's supposed to stay open? Too much for jelly, huh? Okay, looks like the lights came on, maybe? Okay, this is too much for the jelly. Okay, so that was the day, huh? Eleven. Not... I, th I mean, I think that's good. Okay. Cool. If you insist on diving deeper into the Golem Dungeon, please, Will, make sure to buy some better armor. You can bring a blacksmith to town using the town board. I think I have enough money, actually, too. What is this? Oh, my shop. Okay. Vulcan's Forge. 500. Yes. We did it. We're building. We're building. Cool. Oh, so he's the builder. Okay. Nice. So he'll probably tell me what materials I need. Aye, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Look at this. Okay. Ah, okay. Armor, swords, and shields. Okay, so we need all three. Huh. Cool. I just sold all my stuff, guy. Very cool. Okay. To the dungeon. I like this loop of um, killing stuff in the dungeon and then being able to sell. And I like the aspect that there's um, bringing back the town. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Golem dungeon. What is this? What is this? Oh boy. Let's 
This is weird. So, I'm glad to see the pendant is not like a one-time use thing either. Okay, so I can... There's a map. Okay, so there's a boss, it looks like. Oh, I'm all wavy, man. What are you? Interesting. Oh gosh, you tried to pick me up. Jeez, I'm terrible at rolling. Get out of the way, man! Foundry artifact must be placed at the top or bottom. What? So is this, uh, is it, um, are these dungeons procedurally generated every time, or is there a, you know, is there an end or whatever? Okay, we're not going that way. <laughs> left. See, when he makes contact with me, he almost gets stuck for a second. It's hard to get out of the way all the time. So, so these things with the lines are the artifacts. So those are the important things I need to take with me on the way out. Um, I wanted to heal up. Okay. Artifact must be placed to the left or right of bag. One artifact, artifact curse in the direction shown. What? White stone. Piece of a container for preserving the properties of infused water. I am so confused on this. Vines or roots, I mean. So, 
So we're just gonna take all this stuff with us. Where are these vines? Okay, so I can see that definitely have to um Okay, so is this So we place to the left or right back. So Strong as steel. I'm I'm totally confused on that. But we got a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna jet. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I need. Amen. So, in the bottom here, it looks like. The pendant is... Okay. So we need 200 gold before we can even use the pendant. I gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Anoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. They are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of ventures may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. See, that's cool. So they are procedurally generated. A unique maze for each person. Never the same labyrinth twice. Man, one must ask, though. If no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Ooh, getting philosophical. Now these... these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold, some fame! But not I, no, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. Sincerely, Pete. See, that's cool. So they kind of wrote the procedural aspect into the game story. I like this a lot. Okay. Blee, blue, blue, blah, blah. So I need 60 something gold. Hopefully I don't die. Pow, pow, pow. Give me your gold, son. So I wonder if there's a limit. So it looks like 10 is the limit for any one item. Because I can't pick any more of those iron bars up. Can I... Is there a way to drop stuff? Quick equip. Okay, so I have two health potions left. Um... I want to drop stuff. Like, I don't want this. Don't want it. There's gotta be a way to drop. Why close quick equip? Hmm. Oh boy. Is this the um the the why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. What's the thing in the lower left? The healing waters! Oh boy. Intense room, yeah! Oh gosh, I almost went off the edge. No! Oh, that's cool. Okay. You must be the boss. Great. No!
Oh, I can't hit you? Okay, then go. Ah, he's coming after me. I don't understand. Maybe you need to be broomed. Ugh. Oh, god damn it! Did I just lose all that stuff? Oh, you gotta be kidding! Wow. Well, how was I supposed to use the pendant? If I play again, does it, where does it take me? Ah, oh, son of a... I lost all that stuff, all those artifacts. Whoa. Wow, that's... that hurts. Oops. What? I can't access my backpack? Whoa. Man, that's such a bummer. Such a good haul. But how do I... I don't understand how I get more coins in here. Maybe I... Okay, so maybe I should... Um, I guess I can't in here now that I think about it. I gotta wait till I sell enough. And then keep that on hold. You know, I need to save 200 coins, I guess. Every time I shop. That should be the minimum amount that I have. Uh, I'm guessing. Damn, that sucks. I'm so sad. Nabby. I don't have enough. Okay. So is there no way to get out of here? I mean, that's what it seems like, right? Because I can't... I don't have enough money. And I haven't found a single piece of gold in here, so... It's not looking good, guys. Is that an exit? Oh cool, so you can find exits, okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Where did that... I thought that was gonna take me out. This is one of the strange devices that the creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich actually, almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, Gold of some perceived value drops out. Ah, it's great if you need to use your pendant. The device looks like a mirror, so I'm just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder though, where do the treasures inside treasures dropped inside go? Am I getting the best deal here? Oh, that is cool. 
can't move. That's awesome, so they give you an option if you don't have enough money when you start. That's so cool. Okay, so let's... Give me money. That is awesome. I don't want to sell the artifacts, though. Very cool. Let's use some fabric. We're gonna have to s powering crystal 308. Let's get out of here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Well, today, Will, what can I do for you? Nothing for that. So I don't have enough. I almost have enough. So required three of those. 4,000 gold, though. I'm not even close, guy. So it seems, though, when you die, you don't lose um, um, your gold, though. So that's good. I go to sleep. I would like to save my progress. Okay, everybody. Well, this was a first look at Moonlighter. A uh, very cool game. I'm enjoying it so far. And uh, I hope to dive deeper into the dungeons. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Take care.